Okay, so we've got the recording on. Um, and so do you want to ask that question again? Okay, so I'm looking at this chart and it looks like vitamins are due to start on Thursday. And we've got Shan posting every other day. So we've got Tanya and Donna and Stacy, and then I'm scheduled for one on, on May 4th. So as long as my dates aren't changed for the vitamins, that's what I was looking for is to see if I had anything changed. But it looks like no. No. And you know what? I'll just go ahead right now. Okay. And everyone can put on their calendars. Since I'm doing the first call, instead of me doing the one on April 28th, um, uh huh. Well, shoot, that was a problem. Do we have any volunteers? I hate to volunteer, Cammy, and she's not here. What do you need a volunteer for? Um, to do the uh, when, vitamin on April twenty eighth. When does she have me down for? Because I'm easy. I can do it whenever you guys want me to. Well, All right. you're doing well, you've you've got you've got May you've got May sixth. Sharon only has one vitamin scheduled. I don't so if, I if Sharon off. wanted to take another. <laughs> okay, you want to switch? But Sharon is already can... speaking. So just listen, listen. Sharon's already speaking the first week. So that was the whole point to not have the same speaker. Right. I can do it. So that won't work. Okay, Stacy's going Who's that? Stacy. Okay, so. Stacey... No, Stacy's on. Hi. Oh. Yeah. But Stacy would have two weeks. She'd have two in a row. Then she's got one on the thirtieth, also. No, and then I is could, that all right? I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I could switch with her, and then I'll do it under belief. I gotcha. Okay, so switch out Stacy and Donna. I don't have the vitamin up. When is my other one then? So then your next one would be uh, May twenty. Stacy only have one. No, she has one on May. Oh, she has the 20 on Will. Sorry. Okay. You're right. May 20th. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I can definitely do one in April. It's not a problem. Um, I, well, I think we're okay. I mean, if you, unless you want to do that one, Shan, uh, Sharon, on the 30th. I'll do the 30th. I'm fine with that. Okay. And then I'll just take one. Unless somebody needs me to fill in. All okay. right, I'm on the 30th. Okay. Yeah, so here's the changes. April 28th will be Stacy. Um, April 30th will be Karen. Everything else stays the same. Is that right? Yes. Now we're just now, the vitamin, let's just clarify the vitamin is going to be a video recording that we're going to post on the page. And what time do we want to post it? What, what did you guys do? We had the vitamins up by like eight or nine in the morning. And then when they were up, we'd usually just post. But since these are going on, you're not doing phone calls. It's, it doesn't matter. It's just whenever we get them up in the morning, I guess. You can try to have a goal, but people aren't going to be waiting for a phone number. They're just going to see the, the video and watch it. Do you think we should post it the night before? That's what I was going to ask. Sometimes mornings we, are rough. Video. Then we just have to agree that we would all do that because otherwise you'd have two vitamins posting if somebody was the morning girl. And so however you guys want to do it, just make, make a decision then if you want to do them at night. I think we should post them before we go to bed. Okay. This way, if we have a show, we can do it when we get home. Okay, so April 24th will be the first one. Shan, is that okay with you? Because you're going to be doing a lot of posting. I'm fine. Okay. Bring on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, the, the, only thing I can, the, only, the only thing I can say, isn't there a way just to schedule your post? Can't you create it and then just have a time for it to launch? Or does nobody use that? Or not in a group. You can't do that in a group, no. Okay. But in a page, you can. Okay, thank you. I don't think yes. it's a huge difference, really, if somebody posts 11 or 12 o'clock at night and then somebody else posts it the next morning, like if a night was missed accidentally, that wouldn't be a huge thing. I don't know. Well, 
no, it'll be there from the night before. So if they don't see it at night, Stace, right? When they log on during the day, they'll have their vitamin. Right. right. Did you pin the vitamin and the playback? No, you wouldn't have. No, okay, you can't do that because that's daily. But probably the playback each week, do you know? Well, the playback, the playback in our group was never posted. You only got the playback um, if you had done the previous week's homework. So for the first week, you could have the playback posted to allow anybody to join in who is starting out on the program. And then after that, the phone numbers are all, in our groups, were all private. And you only got it if you did the homework. But the I love that. So the playback, too. So you never posted any, you you never posted the numbers nor the playbacks in the group. Um, it's a lot of work for the directors, especially if you've got a lot of people in it. But that that's what kept them accountable. And honestly, in my last group, I lost most of my people because they wouldn't, they couldn't, wouldn't commit to the homework, and that was it. That's that that group was very yep. very particular about removing people from the group if you didn't get their homework. So they couldn't even stay on the Facebook group. They were, you had to remove every week, you had to remove the people that didn't finish the homework. And that's why I'm just encouraging that's homework the, yep. and videos just to be somewhat doable. I think our homework in our last group was just a little bit overwhelming. It just was too much. These people are not, you know, they're not executive directors. They're consultants who are hoping to be a director maybe. And it, I think it just shut too many people down. That's my personal opinion, but we can do whatever you guys want. Yeah. Donna and I spoke about that. I think we have to make it simple. Yeah, that's our plan. Um, if we're taking them out of the Facebook okay. group, why, if they don't yes. take homework, why couldn't we post the playback on the wall if they're not going to be in that group if they didn't complete their homework? If you, well, if you leave them in the group and you post the playbacks, then they're getting, then they're, then they're part of the group. Then they're getting the training without doing the homework. I know that's what I'm saying. It's if we're taking them out of the group, then they won't be able to see the playback, right? You said we need to take them out of the Facebook group if they don't complete their homework. Mm -hmm. Because I'm thinking in a perfect world, not everyone's, not every director is going to do that. That's probably the problem. Correct. I mean, correct. Correct. And correct. I mean, it, you know, I'm not all that crazy about all the rules. I mean, we can, we, you could, you know, if we just take the people out and you post it in, in the uh, group, it, it certainly is a lot easier. But what we would do is they would send the homework that this is how you would keep track of it. They'd send the homework and then I just would cut and paste in the phone number and send it out. And that way, if I forgot to remove somebody, they never got it. Right. But well, here, I have an idea. I have an idea. This is Shan. So, you know, we're getting all this homework, right? And we're the only ones seeing it, right? And why don't you make them post their homework in the Facebook group where everybody can see what their takeaway was, what they're doing, and it's peer pressure. And it's also, it's where they're saying, oh, Mary has the same issue that I have. Um, that's a good to know. I mean, and then we see, so you would we have see to, actually what every, what's going on. Well, they can just type it in there. To, they can just type it in and post it. They would have to definitely remember to tag their executive director because it just gets so, even when we would have them post like one little thing, I mean, the page would just blow up and trying to find your people mm -hmm. was so hard. Yeah. But we can, we could certainly do that too. Sounds good. If that's what you guys think would be good, rather than emailing the homework, posting it all and tagging us, then you would have to, you know, keep make a list of who's posted. Then you'd have to compare that to who you've got in and then take out the ones that never posted, right? That sounds like too much work to me. <laughs> I'm having a mini heart attack thinking about them. No, no. <laughs> let's leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, let's leave that alone. I do think whenever possible, whip we should try and get them to use the Facebook group. So I know one of the things we will do up front is have them post, you know, um, what they're excited about, why they got started, that kind of thing. And, you know, we do want to encourage them. Each exec executive has to have some sort of list that they're working from. Mm -hmm. So 
if you're going to be sending out the homework via email, you have to remember to take the people who didn't complete it off of that list. Right. If we only had to remove them from a Facebook group, that would be a lot easier yeah. than yeah. removing it from a Facebook group and from your spreadsheet or whatever you created to keep track. Right. Mm, I, I'm not sure how, how that, uh, yeah. But the, the other thing is you post the homework in the page. So the homework assignment gets posted. As soon as the person is done speaking, then you say, okay, homework will be up, and you pin that post. So that week's homework is pinned at the top so that people can see it and, and act on it. Now, if, you know, so then they have a deadline of when the homework has to be in, and I think that was all discussed on the last call. Yes. So homework you guys wanted in um, noon on Tuesday. by what time? Because that, I, 12, Tuesday at what time? 12 noon. Tuesday at noon. Mm -hmm. So the call is on Wednesday evening, and they have to have their homework in by Tuesday at noon. So Tuesday at noon, as their homework gets posted or emailed to you, by Wednesday morning, if you don't have it, and there's a call Wednesday night, that's when you would start removing the people from the page. Okay. If, if all goes according to plan, right? Okay. And we can put reminders on our leader page of what we need to be doing. So that'll work. Okay. And, but, you know, here's where I'm, maybe I'm confused. Playback, I could see people wanting to listen to the call many times over again. Um, and so that's where mm -hmm. I was thinking we would post not only the homework, but also the playback of the call that they just listened to, not the next call dial-in number. Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, didn't you say you wanted them coming to one place for everything? So if they know that all they have to do is go to that Facebook group, whatever they need is gonna be there, then that's the one place. We just have to remember to take them out of the group. Right. And that would be the only thing we would have to remove them from is the group because the, e the homework would be posted there and so would the dial-in number. So we don't have to remember to remove them from our email group that we're sending out. We wouldn't have to email anything. Oh, I never made an email group. I, n I never made an email group. It was only w one by one. If I got their homework in by email, then I would return the next phone number. That's how we did it. Okay. So I didn't have a, like a whole group. I didn't, nobody got emails from me about this group. I only got emails from them and then I in return would send the next. Okay, thanks for your homework. Here's the call in number for our next call. And here's the recording for the one we just listened to. But we, I like your idea, it's fine. We'll just post it and just make sure we remove peeps and it, it should be great. That makes more sense to me, Marna. I was thinking that you were sending out the homework. I mean, the next call information like, <laughs> the day before to no. everyone and I was like I'm gonna have to remember to remove them from oh no no and the Facebook group. oh no uh-uh okay no no well I don't okay. care what you do. so that clarifies that sorry <laughs> no, for the confusion hey, Marla, can I ask you a question because I did I kind of sure. directors own up to this because I have like eight people on my personal team that signed up and I did create a little you know email group for them and I encourage my directors to do the same people in their team. And I told my directors it was their responsibility to check the homework for their people so that I wasn't hit with, you know, 60 people checking their homework. So do you think that's okay? Yeah. We, we as executives in the other group, we were in charge of all of this. We didn't leave it up to our directors. We were the ones who got the homework. We were the ones who, um, remove the people because quite honestly, your directors probably won't do it. Right. But well, if I you think they will, well, I, I we can do it. Yeah. However you guys want. Mm -hmm. I kind of had a little talking to them with them and I said, listen, I know your first thought is going to be to leave them in, but you're not doing them a service. You're doing them a disservice. So I would hope that they would, but I'm sure there'll be some that they leave in if they hear a sob story. Mm-hmm. All right, I, we, had them, we had them email the homework to the executive plus the director. So maybe that's too complicated. If we're using the Facebook group, you could have them tag you and their director. Those would be the two tags so that you would also be notified that it's posted. Okay. So, I like what, you guys, what do you think? 
I like the idea of them emailing me homework rather than tagging me on Facebook because once you check your notifications, that's impossible to find after that. Your email stays in your inbox. And so I you agree. It. Yeah. I do too. I, I agree. We had to, they had to have the Ray line, you know, homework for all about the pace. The other thing is that, quite honestly, some of the homework that we had them do was very personal. I, I don't know that, you know, that it would be for general consumption. Yeah, good point. Okay. So then we're going to leave it like that then, that they will email us the homework to their executive and their director. And um, because we do need to know mm -hmm. this so we can give them the directions in this first call. And um, right. we will not, we will remove them from the Facebook group if we don't have their homework by 12 noon, their time zone on Tuesday. Right. And again, we right. all here, is, let's keep them engaged. So the homework needs to be fun and engaging and, you know, but also moving them forward. Right. I mean, they're going to move forward. They know the skills. They know what to do. We need to inspire and motivate and, and again, engage them. So um, hopefully we can, this isn't a destination director program, you know. <laughs> But we do have lots of new mm -hmm. tools that I think will engage them and help them goal set and also, you know, monitor their tasks. So I, I'm so excited about that, especially what um, that program you're talking about, Mona. Okay, so any other questions or changes? Um, I think by now everyone has okay, said... Okay, do we have... Go ahead. Do we have the first call-in number set so that we know for Wednesday night? Yes, I posted that one on Facebook. It's it should be pinned. I thought. Okay. Yeah, I pinned it to the top. Okay. Okay, so it's there. Okay, so and and the and the group is called all about the pace for the people. It's all about the pace. Because all about the pace. Because I already have a group called that, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to differentiate the two it's all about the pace okay. number two how about it's all about the pace number two no no this one's called it's all about your other one is all about oh okay. it's yeah okay so it's all about all right let me search for that okay because i haven't even added any people into this group i don't i don't know that i even am but i, I will think about who i'm gonna ask to do this call okay i do see it thank you okay and then I think we called it, um, what did we call the leaders, uh, Sharon? The leaders? Yeah. It's all about the PACE leaders group. It kind of just pops up when I type it in. Okay. It's all yeah, about the PACE leaders. I just type PACE leaders and it comes yeah. up. Yeah. I actually tagged them to the top. I okay. <laughs> Why did you do that? Um, I think I added it to favorites or something. Favorites, right. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Right. It helps. Okay, cool. Especially with all the groups we belong to. Right. Okay, any any last right. things? I think everyone has set up times to meet with their co-presenter. Um, I think the biggest and most important comment that we're hearing is let's make the homework doable and keep them engaged. That's the whole goal. Um, and help them to kind of dig in to find out what's holding them back. I mean, I think that kind of stuff is going to be a lot more helpful in this program. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of their, one uh, homework assignment was always and mandatory was to watch the videos, you know, so you have to, you you always have mandatory homework of watch the daily vitamins. That's one. And then we always had one thing that was mandatory that we thought was the most important. And then they would have like six other tasks that they could choose from. But it, it did get a little overwhelming, and some people never picked the, the hard, crappy ones. They never did them, so why even offer them? Um, so, you know, it's, and when you're thinking about homework, remember that the, all except for skill is really all about kind of intangible things. You know, belief and passion and will are all so what, what kind of homework can you assign? You know, we've, we did vision boards. Um, we did daily affirmations. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the girls would have them journal, you know, figure out which is your weak pillar and journal and all of that kind of thing. But truthfully, a lot of the girls liked writing about their stuff. They really did. That's how they kind of got down to the core problem was through, you know, self-reflection. 
you know, the homework wasn't necessarily go book two parties. And that's what we tend to give for homework. And that's not what it was. Mm-hmm. So just, you know, you have to, did, did you guys see the homework that we assigned? Do you have that, all that too? Because it should have been in those documents. I did see a few of them, yes. Okay. So, I mean, I'm sure you can see some of it. You thought, oh gosh, nobody's going to do that one. Some of it was confusing, like you said. Right, or not. You know, when they got to pick multiples. Some of them, it, it was very confusing. It was, it was just, it was, too, it was, needs to be very streamlined. So, I mean, I think, you know, either or, do this or do this. Which one do you want to do? Or here's your mandatory and then pick one of these two. You know, try to make it so that it's, very, very clear. Um, okay, that's, that's, I guess that's all I'd say. Well, I think we have to be considerate of people that work full time, come home, have a family, and are trying to balance everything. We can't expect them to do, you know, homework that's a little, you know, above and beyond. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, I think that the group is, is for people who do want to pick up the pace. So we definitely want to make it so that it's useful homework and that it's that it's you know gonna gonna help grow their grow their business so um it, you know it can even it could even be things like you know um i don't know call, call it, it, you know some of them would say like well call your your most recent your three most recent recruits well how some of these people didn't have a recruit it was just kind of like assuming some things that maybe hadn't even happened yet um but it could be practice you know uh, pr practice your, um, you know, your story, you know, like one girl had them, we had them rewrite their story, but that wasn't even part of their passion or belief talk. It was kind of not connected. All of a sudden I read the homework and they said, well, rewrite your story. Well, they hadn't even talked about how to write a story in the presentation that week. So I like to have the homework kind of tied to what was talked about, I guess is my, I guess I think that would be good. Okay. I've probably got you all confused. Sorry. No, I, you're right. It should be. It, that's true. There was some odd ones in there, I think. I'm always a, a believer in sending them back to some online training courses or some video or YouTube video out there that I know was really good for like a preparatory homework and then, you know, pick some sort of practical thing that they can implement from after that. If that's what my thought process is. But. I, I would just be a little worried about more videos since we're using all video for the homework for the daily vitamin already. Yeah. Um, you know. You're right. I think we have to realize that the investment is actually beyond an hour already because of the daily vitamins and we're asking them to watch them. So that's where we have to cut back the homework a little bit because of that too. Well, for the people who are doing the first call, do you have your homework already decided and, and ready to rock out or no? Yes? Donna and I sort of do. We're going to finalize it tomorrow night. Yeah, I think we're going to okay. start with the posting on Facebook. Right, Sharon? Yeah. Um, I like that. And I think you notice people already doing that. They're already starting to post this story. So I think they want to get on and share. And it would certainly be great for them to just see who's on it with them. Um, but there was another one I can't remember right now, Sharon. Do you remember? I have in my notes, and I was going to ask you about this. One of the things I wanted them to go on, well, not necessarily go on, but I wanted them to rate. Remember, we talked about rating themselves? Oh, right. In the pillars. Right. What is your belief in our products and our host opportunity, the business opportunity? And what is your belief in yourself? And you might not be a 10, you probably aren't a 10 right now, but our hopes is at the end of this series, you'll be very close to it. Yeah, to actually go through the pillars and rate yourself for each one of those pillars and then send that to your executive and your director, that and posting. I think that's really what we came up with for homework. What do you guys think of that? That sounds manageable. Yeah, I think I right. sounds very doable. Yeah, and relate. And it should keep everyone engaged for one more week. <laughs> Right. And then let me ask you this then. Um, do we have the four phone numbers all set for the four calls? Marna, can we just use one of yours for our call? 
Um, all of the problem is when I use one of my unclean lines, if they don't put in the pound, or if I use that one again, then the pound doesn't relate to the most recent call. You might get one of my calls that I did with my leaders or something. So um, you're talking about the ones that we used for our all about the pace. I'm that group is still going on too. So we're going to be using those phone lines for that group. So we really have to, I would say, get some new clean lines. That's what my, we did. Yeah. The first one I got is a new clean line. Um, if you guys need me to, I could probably. Okay. So, so, well, state each, each, well, I think we said last time that each group would just get a new line. So what, between Stacy and I, one of us needs to get a, a line on preconferencecall.com and then Shannon, whoever she's speaking with, one of them get it. And then what's nice is to have the four call numbers all posted in our private group, just so we have them all up front, including the playback numbers and all of that. Yes. Well, so I can, I can do that, Marna. I'll get our line. Then, um, Donna, can you okay. use email address over and over or do you have to give different email addresses? You can use the same one, but you have to be careful. You actually have to sign out um, I'm trying to remember. You're better with different ones. It's easier, but you can do it. I have done it with the same one. I have to play with it to actually do that. I'll just use mine and Adam's personal email because I don't. I have a lot of recordings saved for my team that I don't want to lose. Yeah, I, it's easier to get a new one just because of the new system that they're using. Okay, you, you'll guarantee you won't mix it up with one of your other ones. Okay. Um, and if everyone would either post it and post what call it is, and then I'm happy to or mm -hmm. whatever. Or if you just want to email it to me, that's fine too. And we'll put it up on the um, Evernote too, so that it's one stop shopping for everyone. Okay. okay. Anything else you can think of, Bonnet, that we might be missing? Um. No, I, I don't. I don't think so. Um, did we promise a, an hour call, a 45 minute call, anything like that? Yeah, we stuck with the hour. As far as the weekly calls? Yes. An hour? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the only thing I would say is that, you know, just when you've got two speakers, just be considerate of the time, you know, to make sure that you don't go over your half hour to leave your, your co-presenter their, their rateful time. And if the call is a little bit shorter, you know, people are usually going, yay, it's over. That's, yeah. You know, so going over is no good. Being under is fine. Okay. So just make sure that you've got it timed out so that, you know, because some people want to do so much content and you just can't do it all. You got to, you know, count your words or however you do it. But that would be the only other thing I'd say. I think you guys got it under control. Sounds good. Any other questions? So we're good with the first call is going to be this, this Wednesday at 9. PM Eastern time. Yes. I have one comment, Donna. I saw somebody and requesting to get into our pace setters group. I saw that. I don't, I think you might need to change it to, or one of us needs to change it to secret rather than just closed. So people can't find it. Okay. I could do that. I'll do that when we get off the phone. Right. And then you don't get the spammers either. Right. Okay. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. All right. All right so we, so um, what you could do is if you wanted to go ahead and post the playback number for Wednesday's number, because that'll be start to get the question, oh, I can't come on. What will the playback number be? So you might as well post it. And you might want to post, you know, but better to be live. You know, we, we want, you know, the first priority is to be live on the call. Does everybody who's doing this, though, know how to mute the chimes and how to put everybody on mute? Donna? Because that's what we did. And, and Pardon? Donna? What's the number? What is the, do you remember which number it is? It's star well, six. Well, star, star. when you, I think it's, I have it when right you go to, uh, there's like a little chart that you can get at freeconferencecall.com. But the, the trick is the, the first speaker mutes everybody, mm -hmm. including their co-presenter. So then the co-presenter has to go in and hit like pound six to unmute herself. Right. And what you want to do is, is post on there that the call will be, you will be muting everybody. Because what would happen on ours is that people would come in late to the call 
they would hit star six to mute themselves when in actuality they were unmuting themselves because we had them all muted. Right. So it's nice to clearly state that, you know, you don't have to, un don't hit mute, we'll have you all muted. And then at the end of the call when there's Q&A, everyone will be unmuted. Okay. And well, we didn't even do Q&A, just well, now that I think about it. It's star five mutes the audience. However, the audience can unmute themselves by hitting star six. Right. Correct. And the, and the co-presenter has to star six themselves when uh, right away. You can, um, you can also lock your calls. I'm really a stickler on that, that you better show up on time because I lock my call after five minutes after the call time. And so you don't have how people do you do that, calling Jan? in. And, well, you know, you log on to your account versus the internet. Um, and then it gives you that option. You go into your account. You can meet people, you know, you just go online and you can do it that way. I'll, I'll find the instructions and post them in the group. And I don't know how you feel about that, but okay. um, I, that makes, it gets people to show up on time. I'd like to. Oh, I, I, think, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. And then also make sure you take off the chimes too. And they don't call it chimes, they call it control the blah, blah. I think it's four. Four was um, controlling the chimes. Okay, yeah. And also tell them that they don't have to announce themselves when they all come on. Because, um, you know, even, it's up to you guys, but you, it would just be everybody to be talking over each other and it was just a big cluster anyway. Can I just ask so no need to announce yourself, no need to mute yourself, come on time because the call will be locked at five minutes after, you know, just to honor the people that got on time, blah, blah, blah. Just some housekeeping tips. Okay. And I can certainly do it if you want me to. If, you know, I don't mean to put it on somebody else. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to, I feel bad. Pretty good. Pretty, uh, got a lot going on already, so... You know, I don't... No, I, I, but it's just, I can put the post out there. I'll post it. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, but I, I would like the, the um, recording up there and then I'll just add to the, add to the post, you know, hey, to make the call a great experience for everybody, here's some things to keep in mind. And then I just bullet point it and then that'll just stay up there. It'll always be tagged. Like, well, but then you probably want to, yeah. Are we going to tag the homework assignment? That was my other question is, as we post the new homework, is that going to become the tagged post? You mean pin it? Yes. Yes. Pin it, I mean, excuse me. Yes, you're right. Pin it, yes. Pin it, yes. Okay. Yes. Well, can we so then the instructions would be pinned. The new phone call number would be pinned after the, after the last homework is posted on Tuesday. So that Wednesday, they, when they go to the page, it's right there. Do you know if you can unpin someone else? Like, can I, you pin it? Can I unpin mm -hmm. it? Yes. Well, yeah. On the yes. Yep. When you... When you click pin, it'll ask you, do you want to unpin the current one? And you can, anybody, any of the administrators can do that. Okay. So can I ask a clarification again? Um, I think we jumped around and I didn't write it down. So the daily vitamins are going to be posted by 9 p.m. the night before. Is that correct? Or no, sometime, anytime between 9 and 11 or after right. 9. Right, because I have shows, so I'll just pin it when I get home. Yep. After 9 p.m. so that it is on for the next morning. Is that correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then the, um, the one on the 23rd will actually get pinned the night of the 22nd after the call. Right. Okay. Who's doing that? Who's doing the 23rd? Uh, that was Shan. Shan. Is that okay, Shan? Dan's on it with the videos. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. I know those videos are amazing, Shan. Awesome. But they're not going to be that long like that. And, and, and the final celebration is, is well, on most the of, is Most what? of them are like three minutes long, you know, one to three minutes long. Okay. 
Yes. The final and what day is the final Facebook celebration? May 27th. May 27th because oh, okay. it's a member. So it'll be at 9 p.m. And that's your baby. <laughs> Are we going to talk more about well, and what we're doing in that celebration? Because I don't really know what I'm doing. Yes, Mana will tell us what to do. <laughs> well, well, the celebration, um, you know, some people really liked it being on Facebook. Others said, oh, I wish it had been on by phone call. I mean, it's like any other virtual event. Everybody's just assigned a certain number of posts. And with eight people, there really is only time to post two things. What we posted was a celebration or honoring of one of our graduates. We posted their picture with a brief biography of what she accomplished and kind of calling her out and praising her. And then the other one might be a final thought about um, about your subject or um, I forget what I, I think we posted some different little graphics or whatever but it's just kind of more or less kind of like just to resolve the whole thing and and then we had Jean and Judy who came on and posted videos at the end they um, they kind of finished us out Did they pre -do and they said you know Jean just said hey wahoo got pardon it, were they pre-done videos so maybe we could ask them to do that for us yes Okay. Yes. Good. Yes, they were pre-done videos, and they had them well, already can we use you know, the same one? loaded. And they can we use the same not one? Because the one probably probably mm -hmm. not because the one that Jean recorded, she called out Julie Gizzy and just said, "Hey, Julie, thanks for oh. having me. You know, asking me to be part of this." Oh. So oh. Um, okay. you know, maybe she'll learn. Maybe she'll make more of a generic one, and then she can keep reusing it. Judy's might be able to be reused. Um, you know what? So we'll, if, if we want them, we just, have, yeah. No, finish, get more. Oh, no, it's, uh, no, um, I was just going to say, we just, we kept teasing that we'd have some very special guests at our yeah. last event to get them on, you know, to finish it up. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be Gina and Judy, maybe we can find somebody else. So well, I think we should get um, Tracy. But, oh, there, well, she might be nursing a baby. I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, we can work. We can work on that. That's a month away. Yeah. But it, if you've ever if you've ever done any kind of virtual event, it's it's really no different. Um, and all I did, all I ever volunteered to do was always to break the people up and I'd have an exact time chart that said, okay, Shan's time to post is 9.12. Okay, Sharon, you're next, 9.18. And I'd have a running conversation with an open, we'd have a, a joint uh, yeah. message on Facebook so we could all be talking with each other. And then um, I would put be posting the reminder. I'd say, okay, Shan, are you ready to go? And Shan would say, yep, I'm ready. And I'd say, okay, Shan, go. And uh, that's all I did was just keep everybody on track. Um, some girls were not real computer literate and they did not have their, you know, their photos ready and stuff. So I would keep saying, okay, are you posting? It's your time, you know, because if it drags on too much, then people are going, okay, what's going on? Nothing's posting. So you just have to be prepared to, to post your stuff. Is there an outline for this already? Um, you, I can, you can, I can invite you guys to the event that we had so you can see the post that we did. Yeah, that would be great. I'm in. But that. no, there isn't a post like you're saying, like virtually, like a virtual booking event, or at, you know, like all these virtual events that you guys have been working on. No, we didn't have anything like that. Each each executive just had their own thing. We didn't even know what the other person was going to post. It was all just kind of like, hey, it's up to each of us to figure something out. If we created an outline, that would just make it so much easier to duplicate this again with maybe other executives want to part here together, you know, just pull from what well, we, yeah, I mean, we, our, our group already did all of the classes and all of the vitamins and all of that. That's all been documented. So for the virtual event, you mean? Yeah. Why don't we just put an outline together? I can, I can try to start. We, we can. I will I'm in your case group now, so I'll see if I can get into the event, the virtual event, and start saving the pictures and copying all the posts into a Word document for everyone. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Great. Very cool.
Maybe, um, what, last thing I was going to ask is if we could post, you know, once people are doing their homework, I, we all know that the fortune is in the follow up. And so, um, you know, if you guys get ideas on what you're doing with folks as they're contacting you, um, you know, how maybe different things you're adding to your coaching with them or how you're reaching out or, um, I just know that this is the inspiration and then I, what I do is going to make the difference here to grow some people. Um, so any ideas that you have, if we could post them on the leaders page and I certainly will, um, I know this could be first and foremost on my daily plan. <laughs> to maximize uh, growing these people. You could, you know, things, you could do, I mean, as far as personally working with them, I don't know what, what would really change, but I mean, you could always post on your, your team group page saying like, hey, shout out to my, my All About the Pace members, Jackie, Jean, and Jody, who've already turned in their homework. These girls are, you know, rocking and rolling. Just things to keep them, you know, pumped up about it and kind of special. That's a great idea. So, but we can share some more ideas. But that of all the of all the groups I've ever done, been part of, this was very. It was a lot of, it was a lot of work to keep up with everybody. So, um, hopefully, we we have really good results, and you know, the homework is comes in, and we keep them in the group because that was a lot of the other girls seem to have more people stay in the group. I seem to have a lot of dropouts. Well, that's what I was thinking. But it could be because I didn't do a whole. What, honey? Make the homework easier. Our goal is for them to complete this. We don't want to have them on just one or two calls and then drop out. So if we make the homework. Right. Well, like you said, we can right. all right. the way to the last pillar. Mm -hmm. yeah, my right. I, I agree. I That's, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. One of the, my goals is to take those that come out of this and immediately offer them another opportunity for like something stronger, like a, a destination battle or something. Right. Something. Um, right. And that's some of the other groups that I'm in too, are for people who've been through this. Now we're trying to get them to director before conference. So they're in an, another group, plus I've got um, another, oh, um, you know, what do you call it? Step step up your business class going on, and you know sometimes I can't I can't I literally cannot keep track of what calls I'm on anymore. So I'm glad I'm glad I know Wednesday night. I know my night, and um, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop simply because I got a I've got a two o'clock call I have to do. So girls, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you. Thank you, Mona. I think you guys are gonna be great. Thank you. Okay, take care of you. Bye. Bye, Bye. guys. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna stop the recording. Any last questions? I think we're good. So Don, tomorrow night, whenever you get done. Okay. I'll be home. Okay, honey. I'm, nice I'm good. Bye, everyone. Bye, Shan. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.